What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I'm all about looking good and smelling great. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. You guys heard me talk at the top of the year that I'm gonna be mixing up a little bit different content. Um, other than just solely talking and just about fragrances, I wanna venture a little bit into talking about men's lifestyle a little bit, fashion to some degree. Just giving you guys some style tips. I'm not a style expert, but I do think that I look good and I smell amazing. <laughs> so I wanna do something a little bit different today. Um, there's been a video going around uh, by GQ uh, where a lot of celebrities talk about their 10 essentials. Um, so I wanna talk to you guys today about my 10 essentials. So these are things that I really feel are necessary to my life. These are things that I, uh, that, that I feel are important to me. Uh, things that I use more so on a daily basis by what some would refer to as my everyday carry. So if you wanna know what my 10 essentials are, you know how we do, you know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. Before I jump into my top 10 essentials, I want to give you guys my subscriber spotlight. So for my last video, the subscriber spotlight goes to, I think this is Sis C. And Sis C said, when you reviewed Under the Lemon Trees, it made me want to take a vacation. <laughs> Very short and to the point. Uh, and uh, Sis C, thank you so much uh, for your comment. Um, when I think about it, uh, the review of Under the Lemon Trees, it was one of, I would say it's probably one of my personal favorite reviews that I've done uh, because I really enjoyed the scent so much. I went uh, in depth in talking about it. And if I was able to uh, kind of transport you there uh, where I was mentally and kind of make you want to uh, take a vacation as well, I think it was a job well done. Uh, as I always say, I sincerely appreciate my subscribers. I appreciate you guys' interaction and your comments on my video. And as we always do, because you're not here right now, CSC, I'm gonna take two sprays in the air for you. So, two sprays in the air. Oh man, that's some good stuff. CSC, my bro, that was for you. Okay, now that we've gotten the subscriber spotlight out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into my 10 essentials. Starting with number one. Come on guys, what's my name? The bow tie fragrance guy. So I'm gonna start with two of the most obvious things that would be essentials for me. Number one, of course, is fragrances. This particular fragrance is Creed's Aventus, and it's still one of my favorites. I don't care if everybody in the world wore this fragrance, it's still one of my favorites. I told you guys before, on any given day, everybody in the world can only come second place at VME, so I'm content with whomever else in this world wants to wear this fragrance. It's one of my favorites. But fragrances are very important. It's kind of an exclamation point to being uh, well-dressed looking good and smelling great. That's why that's kind of my catchphrase, looking good, smelling amazing. I think they go hand in hand and fragrances like Creed Aventus help me to do that. So my first essential, of course, is a nice fragrance. My next essential, bow tie fragrance guy, of course, bow ties. <laughs> These are three bow ties out of my personal collection. I have about probably a good 50 to 60 bow ties. Um, and just so you guys know, my name, the bow tie fragrance guy, doesn't mean that I wear a bow tie every day. Bow ties for me are synonymous with dressing well. So I have about 60 bow ties in my collection. Again, these are three um, out of my collection. I do wear them often. And uh, so this would definitely be my second essential. Nice bow tie. My third essential, of course, is, what do you know? My cell phone. <laughs> this is so essential to pretty much everybody nowadays. I don't know how anybody makes a uh, top 10 essential without including the cell phone. So cell phone, definitely one of my uh, one of my essentials. Can't leave home without it. Uh, it's almost like your Visa card. So you got to have your cell phone to communicate and stay connected in the world. So my next essential is my cell phone. So if a cell phone is one of my essentials, my next essential is these AirPods. Got to have my AirPods. First of all, I don't really talk, like talking on the phone all that much. And when I do talk on the phone, I despise holding the cell phone up to my ear, especially for 
an extended conversation that goes past five, 10 minutes. So I have to have these AirPods because other than that, I will not answer the phone sometimes until I can find these because I really despise holding the phone to my ear that much. So my AirPods, definitely one of my essentials. Next essential item is a nice pair of shades. These shades right here are by Tom Ford. And I have to have shades, man, because where I live in my neighborhood, when I'm driving out of the neighborhood, there's what I call a blind spot. And the sun is beaming right in my eyes. And sincerely, it makes it hard for me to drive. It is very easy to get into an accident going out of my neighborhood because the sun is beaming right in my face. So sometimes I have to throw these on because it protects my eyes from the sun. And of course, not to mention, I look good in doing it. Next essential. So my next essential item is a nice pair of dress shoes. These dress shoes right here are from the company Magnani, uh, which is one of my favorite brands. It's a uh, brand, I think they originate out of Spain. Uh, they're very, very well made. Um, and these shoes are gonna last me a long time. So I've decided to make investments into my shoes, guys. Look, when you get a certain age, guys, this is, you gotta kinda drop the sneakers. Not saying that you don't wear sneakers because I have quite a few pairs of sneakers myself. Uh, but I use those for different occasions when they're appropriate. But this is why you get your grown and sexy on, guys. A nice pair of dress shoes. Um, again, this is one of my favorite pairs. And guys, I'm gonna do a video about this, but if you are going to wear dress shoes, if you're gonna wear leather dress shoes, and if you're wearing a belt, make sure that you have a belt that's going to match your dress shoes. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a guy dress well, but he has on a pair of tan dress shoes and a black belt. It doesn't work, guys, so make sure you have a belt that matches your shoes. But we'll talk about that later. Next essential. So my next essential is a nice watch. I have a collection of watches. I probably have about 20 to 25 watches in my collection, but I just like a nice timepiece. Um, I think it's kind of a staple of a gentleman, um, having a watch on, uh, knowing what time is. I think that uh, a gentleman, uh, a man should know and respect time. Uh, time doesn't wait for anybody and every second of your life counts. So that's why I always like to have a nice time piece on my arm. It's kind of a distinguished thing. Again, I think it's representative of a gentleman. It lets people know that you yourself respect time. So a watch is definitely one of my essentials. My next essential item is a nicely tailored suit. It's been said by many that a nicely tailored suit on a man is the equivalent of lingerie on a woman. Fellas, let that sink in. So if you don't think that it's important to have a nicely tailored suit in your collection or in your wardrobe, I want you to think again. Just let that sink in. So one of my essentials is a nicely tailored suit. My next essential item is my wallet. <laughs> this wallet is from Coach. Um, I really only carry what I need in here, which is my license, my credit cards, and my money, of course. Can't leave home without that. And uh, I decided to go with this uh, right here instead. This is kind of like the credit card holder more so than an actual wallet. But I prefer this because it's really easy just to slip inside my pants or in my jacket pocket or whatever the case may be. Uh, the way a lot of pants are cut nowadays, it's kind of hard to carry around a big old wallet. It's just too bulky, makes your pants look funny in the back. So I like to use these uh, credit card holders. They work a lot better, they're smaller, and they're easier to transport. And last but not least, my last essential item is this bag. This bag is from Coach as well. It matches my wallet. <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. So it matches my wallet, but this is a nice leather bag from Coach. And this helps me to carry all of my essential items around every day. I can throw my shades in here, I can throw my keys in here. My fragrance usually goes in this bag. I like to carry my fragrance around with me. So I usually keep my fragrance here, my AirPods. Everything can go in this bag. So this is definitely an essential item because it helps me to carry around all my other essential items. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video on my 10 essentials. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos because I'm your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. 
I love to look good and I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.